What's up, Gemini, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. So guys, this is going to be your November love reading. So let's jump right into that. Let's see what's going on. Um, at the end of this reading, I will do separate advice for Gemini singles, those who are in, you know, relationship couples, um, and then those who kind of find themselves in a gray area where your heart might be taken, but maybe, you know, your relationship status isn't. But guys, quick announcement. So I am going to be in New Orleans from November 17th to the 20th. And on the 18th and 19th, I will be doing personal readings for anyone who's interested. But spots are limited, guys. So email me at highvibrations44 at gmail.com. I also have um, posts on my Instagram, highvibrations44, just with the information, pricing, all of that. So if you guys want to meet me, I'll be there. And then, guys, I did just drop a merch line. So I'm really, really excited about that. So if you guys want to support the channel, um, the link is in the description below. And if you guys need a personal reading, it can be bought in the same spot. But I will be here if you guys need any of that. So let's jump right into everything, Gemini. Now, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini signs. And remember, guys, the energy here could be transferable. So I could be seeing something that you guys are exuding and putting out there, or it could be, you know, um, a person around you that's doing something, okay? All right, so what is going on for my Geminis November 2019 when it comes to love? What is the energy around love for my Geminis? The Nine of Swords wants it to pop out, okay? So when this comes out, guys, this is when somebody's just really in their heads about something where you're overthinking, whether it's you overthinking or someone around you that's overthinking, but your mind is too busy, okay? You could be creating scenarios that don't even exist, but again, your mind is everywhere, and that can be causing instability. So you don't want your mind, you know, playing tricks on you this month. You don't want to make something worse because you think too much about it. All right. So we have your past. present and future all right gemini so the energy that we have here is the knight of swords so this is your energy here um of course uh with the swords energy this could represent libra aquarius or you gemini but when you have this energy you have the knight of swords and you have the six of swords in the reverse so regardless of if something is hard for you to move away from, or maybe someone's having a difficult time moving away from you, you're doing what needs to be done. You're making the logical choice. So this is a person who they're gonna put their emotions to the side whether they want to or not. And they're gonna deal with the reality of a situation. With the high priestess in the verse and the star card in the verse, it's like somebody deep down knows that they have to let something go and that they have to lose faith in it. But it's like they're trying to turn a blind eye to it or they just don't wanna see it for what it is. All right, so let's talk about it. The first card you guys have for the past is the Four of Wands in the Reverse. So this is when you're going through something where it has an unstable, you know, foundation, or you just feel like as you transition through this, it, it's uncomfortable. Okay, why is this Four of Wands here in the Reverse? We have the Tower card in the Reverse. Let's get one more card. And the Ten of Cups. All right. So there's something where there's an unstable transition, but you really dodge a bullet here. And it could be something that really leads to happiness. You guys really stand your ground with something and you remove yourself from something toxic. So if you don't feel happy at the time that this is happening, it's setting you up for happiness. Okay. So you just kind of have to go with it. You guys have the cherry as the next card for your past. This could be something that has to do with the move. Uh, some sort of visit, you know, some sort of vacation, you're traveling. Um, or it could be when something really just takes off very quickly. So let's see what that means for you guys. Why is this chariot here? Two of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles. So it's like there is something that maybe you guys are very passionate about, but you had a reservation towards it, or maybe someone had a reservation towards you, okay? Or maybe you were reserved about something because you were very passionate about another direction you wanted to go in. So it's going to be either or, all right? 
but there's just something where a person finds balance and where a person wants success but there's something that they have to cut out or maybe there's conflict with what it is that you want to have success with all right the last card that you guys have for the past is the lover's card in the verse so if this isn't an outright breakup then at minimal it's fighting it's arguing it's you know things having tension why is this lover's card in the reverse here we have the knight of swords And we have the Four of Cups. So someone just isn't accepting something. They don't want to go forward with something. They're not accepting an offer here. But someone's just not over it. And I see someone who's kind of being patient, saying, you know, maybe this can come back. But it's all an illusion. All right. Maybe there's secrets that come out about this when you're just like, uh, where you're just unsure of what you want to do here. But yeah, there's just something that a person I feel is hoping for that they, they shouldn't be. Um, the good thing here, guys, is with the Knight of Swords popping up, Okay, even if you guys are the ones who are kind of like holding on to something more than you should, um, it shows that at the end of the day, you're going to do what makes most sense. So whether it's difficult for you or not, you still do what, what's most logical. Okay. All right, Gemini. So present moment, first card that we have is three of wands in reverse. You stop waiting on something. You stop building on something. Okay. Something just isn't continuing for or it could be something that you drop. It doesn't have to be the person. Maybe it's an aspect of the relationship that was hindering the relationship. Maybe somebody was drinking a lot and now they want to be better and they don't want to drink a lot. Um, maybe somebody just didn't care about themselves. They weren't being healthy and they know they had bad habits, but now they're dropping that. They're waking up earlier. They're going to the gym, things like that. We have the seven of wands. So something's not continuing forward and someone's just really, really standing their ground as you know strongly as they can. Now we have the Knight of Wands. So this could be something that has to do with the Leo Aries or Sagittarius or just something where someone just had a lot of passion. But something's not moving forward. And, you know, just be careful, guys, because when we have the Queen of Swords in the verse and Ten of Swords, it could be that someone feels betrayed by something or there was some sort of harsh or heavy ending or sudden ending that happened. But the reason why I say be careful is because with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, whether this person has the right to be really, really upset or not, it shows that not only are they upset, but it's a very reckless sense of being upset where they bring so much more problems to them. So you're going to really want to deal with things as gracefully as possible. Um, you know, so just really think before you act, and this can go to the cross watchers as well. If you feel like something is getting you out of your element and you're about to react to it, say, you know, is this something that is going to help me out? Or realistically, is this going to put me in a shittier place or is this going to dig me into a deeper hole? So you guys want to make sure, um, you know, you're, you're not taking that route. Okay, this is someone that really just adds fuel to the fire and um, they're not thinking, they're just destroying everything around them. Um, so yeah, you don't want to put yourself in a position where you can't take back what you did. All right. Now the next card that we got, or that you guys have rather for the present moment, um, and the center of your reading is the Knight of Cups. All right. So this could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that's around you. But if this doesn't have to do with the water sign, then it's someone who's in a position where emotionally they're intact. You know, they, they feel good. They're in a good place. So this could be you. This could be somebody else. Let's see why it's showing up. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. All right. So there's something here, guys, that is put in the past where things don't go as expected. The Wheel of Fortune doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. In some cases, it could be, you know, things really spiraling out of control when you wanted it to go a certain way. But it could also be when things just kind of roll in a way that you didn't see coming. So think of this as a wheel turning and you wanting it to take a left, okay? But it takes a right and it leads you to something that could be unexpected and good. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but at minimal, something that's kind of just unexpected, all right? And you're just trying to find balance throughout this, all right? But there is something that you guys do have to walk away from and it's something that someone is having a hard time, you know, releasing. The last card that you guys have for the present moment is the strength card. So being strong, being resilient in something, sometimes this can talk about Leo energy. So why is this strength card coming up? We have the five of cups and we have the death card in the reverse. Someone is really trying to be strong, but there's something that they're not over. Although they are finding balance in the process, you know, with, with however they're coping with this. Um, 
the advice that I really, really could give you guys is that you want to make sure that you're looking at this in the best way. With the Five of Cups, this could be someone who is prone to focusing on everything that they've lost as opposed to what they still have going for them. Um, you know, someone who's crying over spilled milk. With whatever it is that you guys are going through, you have to realize that whatever is truly meant for you, you know, can it can't be compromised. And I know that, you know, breakups could be hard and, you know, not being with someone that you necessarily want to be with in the moment could be hard. But again, what's meant for us is going to come in. So just don't be so hard on yourselves. If, if something's just not coming to you naturally, um, think of it as a gift because now you know it's not going to work and now you can open your mind to the possibilities of what will work, okay? So someone's not wasting your time. Maybe you're not wasting their time and you're able to find what really, really suits you, okay? But you guys, again, you do find balance in all of this. All right. So moving forward into the future, the first card that you guys have is a hanged man in the reverse. This is someone that one could be moving out of a place of limbo, so maybe you kind of felt stuck, but you're moving past that. But this could also be someone who is doing something that doesn't seem natural. It's like they're bending over backwards for something that's just not going to work out at this point. We have the ace of wands and we have the empress card in the reverse. So I see someone letting go of something that's forced and a new opportunity opening up for them. You guys have success, but it's because you let something go, all right? Or maybe something is let go of because someone is just very prideful, but in this case, I think somebody needs to be prideful. There's something that just wasn't working out for you. There's something that your soul didn't want. You guys made the right judgment or will make the right judgment by walking away. But the biggest thing here is if it's not coming for you naturally or if it doesn't fit naturally in your life and you feel like you're, you're constantly begging or crying or screaming, anything like that, um, it's not meant to be there and you guys have that complete clarity at this point with the moon card in the reverse It's seeing everything clearly All right, we have the justice card And we have the two of pentacles. So someone is in a place where they're realizing what was karmic for them um, They're realizing, you know, what it is that they had to go through. They're just trying to find balance through it So I feel like at this point um, For those who were kind of bothered by this whether it's you or the cross watcher at least you're you know getting to a point where it's just like okay even though i might not like what's going on you know at least i i know that it had to happen and i'm dealing with it and i might not always feel stable 100 percent of the time but i'm getting through it and i know that i made the right choice okay and it shows that there is going to be celebrations that come in but there's going to be something you have to cut out all right five of pentacles maybe you feel rejected maybe someone around you feels rejected but something has to be let go of um with the three of cups here guys Yes, that could be something that you're going to celebrate that comes in. Um, but that could also just say that right now is a time to really just be with those around you that are going to have a good and positive and just like soulful impact on you. Um, be around people who help you get past whatever it is you're dealing with. Okay. And, and those good friends, not those, you know, you don't want those friends that kind of just take you out and they're getting you into all sorts of trouble where it's like you get home at the end of the night and it's like, okay, I know that I was supposed to feel better, but now I feel shittier. Like that that didn't bring peace to my soul. That didn't um, heal me in a, in a nice way, okay? Um, make sure that you're dealing with this in a healthy way, all right? The last card that you guys have is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse when it comes to love, okay? So with this being in the future, whether it's you or someone around you, someone's just fed up. Someone's like, you know what, I did everything that I could, but this is just too much. All right, keep in mind that this could also be a very overburdening energy. Okay, so think of a mother that's way too overprotective. Think of someone who's like breathing down your throat all the time. Okay, so whether it's someone being fed up or someone just being overbearing, um, it's just not something that a person's going to want to deal with. Ace of Swords in the reverse, someone feels very, very conflicted by this or it could start a lot of fights. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I see someone trying to work towards something, but guys, it just brings issues. So if this is something that you know you have to release that maybe you're having a hard time with, you know, just keep your dignity, keep your head up high. Because here, I, I feel like someone's trying to force something and it doesn't work towards, the, like it doesn't work in a positive way. Um, if anything, it kind of like pushes people away from you. Or it could be someone who is really, really just trying with you and you're just trying to let something go and they're just not with it. So I, I just see 
you know, I just see this as something that feels burdening. Now, I've been saying this a lot lately because this has seemed to be the theme this month for love, but don't go towards something, guys, that it's just not happening naturally for you. And what I keep telling people is that when you keep going towards something like that and you know it's not a good fit, it's like you, you're constantly teaching this person how to reject you, okay? And I feel like over time, when someone says, I don't want this, I don't want this, and you keep prying and you keep going for it, um, there comes a time where you just, you, you're you losing self-respect for yourself by putting yourself in that position, and then the person's gonna lose respect for you. And besides, the way that we are as humans, as fucked up as it could be sometimes, is most of us like a chase. If something's always readily available, especially when we're saying we don't want it, we're not gonna go towards it. We're gonna despise it even more. We're gonna wanna reject it even more, so, um, you know, I don't want to say this. Do everything with your head up high. Have pride. Okay. This is a time where you really just want to make sure um, you're, you're not getting yourself in something that's just not going to work out for you. So I want to start with advice for my Gemini singles. So let's see what the deck is going to advise you right now. Sun card in the verse came out. Ace of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. And we have the Nine of Wands in the verse. So this is a duality here, guys. Yes, you're going to turn your back on something. And I see you, you know, either you being very unhappy about it or someone being very unhappy with you about this. But you guys have a new beginning that comes out of nowhere. And it's something amazing. And it comes in because you finally let go of something that's just too burdening and too much bullshit. Why is the Sun card in the verse here? We have the Magician. So you guys manifest something that comes out of nowhere. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles in the verse. And it comes in when you decide something is a waste of time and effort. Sorry about that, guys. I'm working in uh, a room in the building that I live in. And the lights are uh, sensor lights. So I got to keep moving if I want them on. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Four of Pentacles in the verse. So for some of you, you could be going towards a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. If it's not a fire sign, just something you're very, very passionate about. But it's because you let something go. Okay, so whether this is difficult for you or you're the one that just really wanted to let this go, you find extreme happiness in letting it go. So either way, it works out. Excuse me, guys. It shows you get something that's really wish fulfillment and you stop worrying. Okay, just move past whatever it is that you feel stuck on or if someone feels stuck on you, just find a way to release it. Okay, but it looks good though. All right, so for my Gemini couples, what advice? does this deck have for you all right guys so you have king of pentacles Queen of Pentacles in the verse, Four of Pentacles in the verse. If there's anything that has been causing you to lose money, to be tight on money, to spend too much money, or something that you're just very, very fed up with, or where someone's very, very fed up with you, um, that's going to be something that you're reserved towards or that someone's reserved towards. But whatever's causing a loss here um, is going to be something that's kind of like pushed away. Maybe this has to do with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or someone just really just wanting to be stable, okay? Um, but I see you guys really wanting to... It's like you're trying to be strong in something where there could be a lot of passion that you have for someone or that they have towards you, but there's something here that needs to be closed out that either you're holding on to or maybe your partner's holding on to or maybe something that you guys as a couple are holding on to um, but it's not meant to be there and someone's kind of in denial about something ten of cups all right we have the star card in the reverse that popped out we had a few cards that popped out here okay yeah so there's something that you guys choose not to accept and it's something that you're worried about debating going back and forth on 
and you actually end up losing faith in whatever this is, removing yourself from it, and then you're extremely happy, all right? So it doesn't necessarily have to be the relationship. It could be something that you guys were going to do together and it doesn't work out, but you have a happy you know, outcome or something that you do break up with a person or you do move away from it. But again, it shows that's something that's meant to happen and that you know, you're very happy in all this. So whether you're singles or couples, it, it's a good turnout for you, even if at first um, it's not happening in the best of ways or you feel bothered by how it's happening, okay? So lastly, this is for my Geminis who kind of find themselves in a gray area. And if one of you want to timestamp this, I'd be very grateful for that, for the advice at the end. But for those of you who are not necessarily in a relationship, but it's like your heart is, you know, attached to something or there's someone that you want. Let's see what this is about. What is the advice for y'all? All right, guys. So we have the hangman, the devil card, and the page of pentacles in the verse. It's going to be going with the flow, guys, with this whole gray area thing. Um, if there's something where you're not genuinely invested or a person around you is not genuinely invested, take it for what it is and remove yourself from it because it's showing that that's toxic for you. But there's going to be some sort of imbalance because me, uh, you know, maybe you're juggling people or they're juggling people. But this is a month where you're not supposed to be going through conflict. There's something unconventional that you have to move away from. Okay. So if it's causing conflict, if it's not coming in naturally, it's time to let it go. So you have the two of cups, queen of cups in the reverse, and the king of swords. So yeah, honestly, guys, I see someone being protective over themselves. Maybe it's because someone's not genuinely invested, or maybe it's because you were losing a lot or somebody else around you was losing a lot. But I feel like someone does have a connection to someone, but they're just realizing this isn't going to work. Okay. Now, this definitely varies, guys, so it's going to be different from person to person, but you can always get a personal reading if you want me to look into your situation specifically. But the next reading I will have out for you guys will be your November mid-month, so we'll see how things kind of develop and if love comes out in that reading. But other than that, guys, um, again, I have the merch that came out. Uh, if you need a reading, everything is in the description below. Don't forget about New Orleans if you guys are in the area. Um, but lastly, guys, I'm in a place where I'm finally able to, um, or ha I'm going to have the time to really upgrade my channel and just get the equipment I've always been needing. So I did open up a holiday wish list on Amazon. So I'm just asking for anyone who wants to donate and help me kind of get everything going. If you guys do choose to donate, something off the wish list please email me at highvibrations44 at gmail.com and i will happily send you guys a free reading just you know to show my gratitude for this but yeah guys i love you so much i hope you guys are having a great november and i will see you guys soon take care gemini